Hi guys, this is another way that I will use my frozen tomatoes. These are all unthawed now. And I'm just going to add them to my Nutribullet. Um, I am actually just going to water down this ranch because I really, really like the taste of tomato juice in a salad. So I'll be back in just a minute. Here it is. It has that wonderful, fresh tomato smell to it. And it tastes so good and I like to thin my dressings out a lot of the times when you're dealing with a very light fragile lettuce like this pine tree le loose lettuce leaf that I grew it's very delicious but it is very very delicate compared to like iceberg this is so great for when you don't have fresh garden tomatoes, but you want that taste in the winter. So my salad is compiled and you can see all the little bits of tomato in there. It's so good, you guys. Especially when you're stuck in the house, it's snowing, you don't have a tomato for your salad, but you want that taste. This is a fantastic solution. <laughs> Another quick thing you can do is just add them to whatever vegetable you are baking or steaming and you don't really want to add a lot of oil to it. Plus that flavors this up really nice for me with the onions. I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning in here, but this is about all I have got left. I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to season it up. I'm going to tinfoil it up and that's it. Okay guys, so each year when I have an abundance of cherry tomatoes, what I will do is I will cut them in half. I'll put them on a cookie sheet with parchment paper, cut side up, I'll freeze them, and then I transfer them all into a big gallon baggie. In 2020, which is now two years ago, I had two of these bags, and I exclusively used the cut ones for my pizzas. I love to doctor up a good frozen pizza and I put a lot of these cut tomatoes on here. So cook it as normal. By the time it gets done cooking, this is gonna taste, actually it doesn't really taste like a hot, hot tomato on there. Since it's frozen, it has a really good temperature to it. Since these are frozen, they have juice on them and they have ice on them, it's going to be watery. So you're going to have to take a paper towel and blot it. So let's check back in just one minute. All right, you guys, so the pizza's cooked and I am just blotting this. You may have to blot it a couple times because there is now that ice that has turned to water. Not to mention the fact of all the juice that got frozen into those tomatoes, which is so good. So at this point, I'm just gonna blot because I still want some of that juice on there, but I'm really just trying to get rid of the water and the grease, but sometimes, you know, you can't separate that. And you are gonna get little seeds in here. If you need to do it again, we can. It still looks a little shimmerish. Now your cook time, you're probably gonna have to cook this for maybe one or two more minutes, feel it out, because you just put a lot of additional frozen stuff on top of this, and the manufacturer really did not accommodate for that in the cooking instructions. And we'll just peel that off. And see, that's I can still touch that. So by the time that's cooked, it's not scorching, it's just perfect tomato temperature. Ooh, let's get that off. 
and you can see they flatten down it doesn't matter I'm still gonna get that fantastic taste which in the winter that's all we can really hope for in the summer I like to put some fresh ones on and I've got a second one over here going and you can see I've also added some chives from the garden I added onions and I'm going to also add some of my fresh basil that I grow in the garden it's gonna be so good you guys You guys another way that I like to add my frozen tomatoes is to any type of roast that I'm making that doesn't have a lot of liquid in it okay it's gonna add a great taste to that I have also put some of these and some frozen spaghetti sauce that I don't really have enough of. So these are gonna cook down and it's gonna give me some more natural tasting sauce without me having to open a full can of anything. And it's totally customizable. so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.